In this short talk through, we'll take a look at DJCU or DJ Conversion Utility. It lets you convert your DJ library from one app over to another. And it's compatible with a variety of DJ software, including Recordbox, Serato DJ, Virtual DJ, and Tractor. I'll do a demo conversion in this review so you can see how it works. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Now let's get straight to it. DJCU is at version 4 now and it's got a new graphic interface and a simplified workflow that makes it easier to use. DJCU works with all four big DJ apps, Tractor, Serato, Recordbox, and Virtual DJ. But DJCU doesn't convert to and from all of these apps. Some are two-way conversions, for example, Recordbox to Serato DJ and Serato DJ to Recordbox, while others are one-way, for example, Virtual DJ to Recordbox, Recordbox to DJ Pro. Now it can sound confusing, so here's a list of some of the possible conversions. Recordbox to Serato and Serato to Recordbox, Recordbox to Tractor and Tractor to Recordbox, Virtual DJ to Recordbox, Recordbox to DJ Pro, Recordbox to iTunes, Mixed in Key to Recordbox, Mixed in Key to Tractor. Now if you're looking at this graphic and you want to convert, say, a Serato library to a Tractor library, you can do that. What you need to do first is to convert your Serato library to a record box library and then to convert that record box library over onto Tractor. And I've got a full list of these conversion recipes over on the full review on our website. I've got a link to that in the description box below. Now let's get started to actually converting a library. So I want to convert my Serato library over onto a record box one. So let's try it out. I just wanted to show you first the demo library that I created with Serato. So here it is. Let me pull up my Serato right now. So I've got a collection here with around 18 songs. Yeah, just the demo library. And then I've also created a playlist with those songs. So what's going to happen is all of these songs plus this playlist are going to be transferred and converted from a Serato collection, Serato library over onto a record box one. And I also want to point out that I've got two songs loaded here, and you can see that I've got hotkeys in them, right? So for the Stevie Next song, I've got four hotkeys here, intro, verse, outro, and one that doesn't have a label, it just has a timestamp. And over here on the right, I've got a track from Nile Rogers and Sheik. Uh, intro, verse, and outro, I've got those hotkeys as well. So we're going to see all of these things make the transition from being in a Serato library over onto Recordbox, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So having seen that, let's minimize Serato, and let's head on over to DJCU menu. So I'm going to click Serato over here because we are converting from a Serato library. There we go. And then over here, we're going to see the options that are possible. So first up, you've got this rule for hot cues and cue loops to drop down. I, you have three different options here. I just think this is a good one. This is the default. And then you can also have this advanced selection method box ticked. So basically, this lets you choose only particular songs to be included in the export. You can specify a date if you want to. I don't need to do that. And you've also got other conversion parameters here, which I won't go into. So right now, it's pretty simple. I can just click on Start Conversion. And it's going to start the conversion process. Right? And then now this is going to ask us what playlists we want to include. So I only have one playlist in there. So it's going to be this. Click OK. It's going to crunch all that data. Then it's going to do the export from Serato to Recordbox. XML, which is the collection file. And the cool thing is it will automatically launch Recordbox as well. All right, so now we are in Recordbox. And I can go to Recordbox XML over in here. If I go to all tracks, we're going to find all of the songs that we had earlier from our Serato library transferred over into here. And plus, we also have our playlist here, which is the disco playlist. So yeah, you got your songs over in there. Cool. So far, so good. Now let's try loading a song here. Stevie next track. So as you can see, we've got all of our hotkeys here on screen, along with the corresponding colors. And we also have the labels. So I've got intro, verse, and outro. And as you can see, 
The other hot cue where I didn't add a label, it was just a timestamp. We have this. Now it's just the timestamp as well with the word DJQ over in there. So that's good. That means the hot cues made the jump from Serato over onto Record Box. Now, before we end, let's just try this other song as well. So three hot cues in there along with the hot cue labels. So that's pretty good. So that's it. DJCU does what it sets out to do and it does it quickly. I liked how simple it was to use, which is a big improvement compared to previous versions of the app, which sometimes felt a bit like a throwback to Windows 98 software. Now, there are other more robust conversion apps out there if you want to do more. Record Buddy is an obvious one, which also does music library management apart from just converting and exporting libraries. Uh, Record Cloud is another, though it's more of a Swiss army knife in the sense that it does many other stuff that digital DJs might be interested in other than just converting and exporting your library. But again, if all you want to do really is to transfer your track metadata and playlists and hotkeys and stuff like that from one DJ app to another, and provided your DJ apps are covered in the conversions list, DJCU should be on your short list. It does the job well and we can't stress how much its usability has improved, though a bit more clarity in the available DJ app conversions would be welcome. As always, I've got a full written review of this over on the Digital DJ Tips site. The link is in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up icon. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.